for parents that think, oh, not my kid. They're wrong because we were those parents. Never thought, it never even occurred to us that he was trying these things. He had such a bright future ahead, but Colton Gutenek became one of the more than 2,400 people killed in Arizona last year by an opioid overdose. He wasn't even trying to get high. Colton took what he thought was an anti-anxiety pill that turned out to be laced with fentanyl. Tonight, for the first time, thanks to a special task force with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, we are taking you inside an illegal pill mill to show you why counterfeit pills are killing so many people. Raids are happening across the valley, sometimes taking a few pills off the streets, other times thousands. This bust just one block away from a high school. I was really worried about the kids because this is like a highway for the kids to walk through. Is fentanyl showing up more now? Oh my God, it's, yeah. Detective it's, Matt Shea is walking uh, us through nice. videos and evidence from fentanyl seizures. There's millions and millions of pills hitting Metro Phoenix. And increasingly, they're finding more than just pills. We would call this a pill mill. Rooms dedicated to making counterfeit prescription pills, similar to operations you would find south of the border. Part of this setup, two machines, each capable of pressing out thousands of pills a day and almost always laced with fentanyl for the high and the addiction factor. This room clearly is exclusively used for just manufacture of pills. Investigators have to go in fully protected because of the contamination. Looking at the dust, it's impossible to tell how much of it is dangerous fentanyl powder, which can be inhaled or even absorbed through the skin. Okay, so hopefully you get some perspective as to how much powder residue is all over. These blue pills, M30s, are popular right now for people looking for fentanyl. But by simply swapping out a few parts, these machines can press out any number of authentic looking pills, different shapes and sizes, imprinted with any letter, number, or design. And they look like the real deal. Made to make some of their own pills, made to make a pill that actually has a pretty unique shape to it. It's not unusual to find counterfeit Oxycontin, Oxycodone, Percocet, Vicodin, Xanax, and the list goes on. How did Colin die? He died from taking an Ativan that was laced with fentanyl. 20-year-old Colton Gutnett died after taking what was supposed to be an anti-anxiety pill he got from a friend, a pill he did not know was laced with fentanyl. What shocks me too is how these kids advertise that they have it on Snapchat. His mother, Melissa, and speaking to us because problem. after Colton's death, his friends confided pills are everywhere. Younger generations are replacing drinking with experimenting with pills, often not realizing they may be taking counterfeits. That's kind of what they do at these parties these days. You know, they have like these pill parties and they had all tried Xanax. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're playing Russian roulette every time you try it. This is actual fentanyl powder. That would be enough uh, to kill uh, or put into overdose 1,000 adult males. We recover these all the time. The reason these counterfeit pills are so dangerous? The salt in the container on the left represents the amount of fentanyl that would produce a euphoric high. On the right, the amount that would overdose an adult. It seems like such a small difference. It's incredible, right? This amount is enough to kill an average adult male and it's killing them constantly. Detective Shea compares mixing up a batch of fentanyl pills to making a batch of chocolate chip cookies. As we mix it together, we can see that we can't actually see how much there is in any one portion. Like the chips, fentanyl doesn't get distributed evenly. The ideal cookie, seven chocolate chips. The ideal fentanyl pill, seven grains of fentanyl. Just like this chocolate chip cookie has more than 12 chocolate chips in it, some fentanyl pills will unfortunately have more than 12 grains of fentanyl in there, and that will cause an overdose. The only thing certain about the increasing popularity of pills is the risk. What's your reaction when you're able to get some of those pills off the street? Well, we're elated, obviously. Every pill we take off the street, we have hypothetically saved a life. How many lives did that one pill change? Oh, countless, countless.
we have to put all our pieces of our puzzle back together. But it's always going to be missing that piece. Now we hear on the streets, but these pills are not just being sold in drug deals on the streets. They are in schools. They are being passed out among friends by coworkers, sold online. They are basically everywhere now. So unless you get it from a pharmacy, you should assume that any pill that someone gives or sells you has the potential to be laced with fentanyl, and they may not even know it. Arizona's family is committed to keeping all families safe. Head over to our AZ Family News app. We do have a complete section about fentanyl's fatal fallout and what you need to know.